Hello everyone and welcome to Myrtle Knits. My name is Liz and I live in the south of England. As usual, I want to start by saying thank you so much for those who watched um, and who liked, subscribed. Um, also thank you and for any new viewers today. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you like it. Okay, so we're going to get straight on. There's a slightly different format, which I'll talk about in just a moment. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get straight into the knitting because I think that's probably what most people are here for, really. And I normally ramble on a bit first um, about things I've done, but we're going to go straight in with knitting. And this week, or this time, I've actually got finished objects. Um, my first finished object, maybe you can see the little rabbit sitting in the background, is my crochet bunny from Edward's Menagerie. That's a book which I'll show you in just a moment, which I got from Amazon. But I'm really pleased. It's very cute and very lovely. And it's taken me a little longer than I thought, but I haven't constantly been crocheting on this. Um, but I'll show you the book, just in case you're interested in crocheting toys. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to show you the next, because it's got 40 uh, toys in it. And I plan to knit or crochet all of them and I plan to do it in order. So the next one, I'm going to show you that first, is that's what will be going on my hook. And that is a Russian blue cat, which I've never heard of before. But there you go, that's going to be what I'm going to start next. And this is just the front of the book. So if you did want to look for this, I will add a link where I got it from on Amazon. But if you do want to have a go at crocheting some toys, there we go, Edward's Menagerie. My next finished object is my dip your toe in socks. I showed part of these last time and called for test knitters. Um, I was hoping to get uh, some people to just knit some up. I'll send them the pattern and we could have some other photos and maybe project pages for these. Uh, one lovely, um, viewer reached out and said that they would like to knit these so I've sent the pattern and hopefully they're enjoying it and I just want to say hello if you're watching and um, you know who you are <laughs> but uh, so these are the ones that I've finished I've got a little boat and anchor detail on the top um, and then some wave details at the bottom there's wave details at the top there with the boat and anchor and as you can see, they're in the in shallow waters here because there's only one set of waves. And if you dip your toe in, I'm dipping my toe in deeper water. These are actually for me, these ones. Um, but I am doing a second pair. I like to try and uh, knit another pair of my patterns that I've written up. And this one is a little bit bigger, as you can see. Um, and it's for my dad. It's going to be Father's Day in the UK here on Sunday, but he's only getting one, which I think will tickle him. So I'll wrap this up and uh, he'll open it. <laughs> I've, only got, I've only got one sock um, and I'll do a little IOU with it. But as you can see in this one, I've used different colours. So I will list the yarns that I used for my original one. I believe there was an opal yarn and a paint box yarn in there. I think these are, these are both opal yarns. They're in fact very apt. This one's called Ocean and this one's called Sky Blue. So yeah, as you can see, these boats here are just sailing on slightly deeper water than my ones, but only dipping your toe in the shallows because there's just two rows of waves there, two rows of waves there. So it's quite adaptable. Um, and like I say, I will pop in the notes, uh, which is in the description just below the video. In the description is a more, you can see more. If you just press on that, it will bring up um, some more details on the video and it will show any links that you can click on so I'll, I'll add a link for these as well okay so that was all my finished objects just the two today now because i'm rushing a little bit i recorded something this morning um and there was just a couple of things i wanted to take out of it which i've said before i don't really want to do a lot of editing but every time i try to do some editing in imovie i come to export it and I just haven't got the space on my device. Um, so 
I've given up. Having spent quite quite a bit of time on it today, I've, I've given up. Um, so I'm just going to do another video, but it, I might be skimming past it a bit compared to how this morning's was, and we'll get back to a more leisurely and a calmer one again in a few weeks' time. I've been trying to do them every other week, but that, I found that's been quite difficult, really. So I. I'm just nice and changing the format as well, but I'm just going to try and do them within three weeks. I'm going to try and try and do them um, and get them out for people. Now, my previous knit this week is so those of you who watched, I've got several segments of the video that I tend to repeat. But my previous knit is these, and these are my reaching out socks. This is a free pattern on Ravelry, um, and what it is, it's for the Anti-Bullying Alliance. I've got involved with those the past couple of years and designed a sock similar to, or with inspiration of their theme. And they've got this year's theme out, which is really exciting, I've noticed. So that's why I thought I'd mention these today. Um, and I can get looking at designing something for November when the actual Anti-Bullying Week is. Well, obviously it's all year round. Um, I follow them on Instagram, so if you're going through anything yourself or you know of anybody going through anything, reach out and um, look up anti Brilliant Alliance. Again, I will put a link for the website on there uh, in my notes. But so if you want a pair of shorties, free pattern, the only thing I'd ask is could you post it on your social media and tag Anti-Bullying Alliance. Um, and obviously if you could tag me as well, I would love that because I'd love to see what you've, what you've been doing, what you've designed. These are, I've got opal yarns as well, the black and the white, and I think this is Cascade Heritage, or is it just Heritage? This purple, I think it's purple hyacinth. Uh, great colours together, and it's the colours that they used within their theme. So I tried to use their colours they've used and something out of the design. So. Last year they had these banners, which were done as this is an arrow, no even arrows, but they had banners like this. So if you did go on and look on the anti Bullying Alliance for last year, you would see it. I think Odd Sock Day is the 13th of November this year, so you can get knitting on a, a pair for um, of these. And then when the new one comes out, perhaps you could knit a pair of those and wear them together as Odd Socks. Uh, on the 13th, it's for adults and children alike, just to really an awareness uh, for anti-bullying. Okay, so if I put those to one side, what's on my needles? I'm very impressed with myself. I've got my ranunculus, which I showed you last time, which I'd started, and I've managed to do quite a bit more. I did make a bit of a mistake. I don't know if you can see, I've got um, mohair uh, in here, which is is the drops kids 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 silk drop no drops kids silk um i haven't got the color but i i know these just have a a color code so i'll put that in the description but i've got also this is the other things i'm using yarn to cone this is forest green and the other one is i've got it written down i've got to hope i say it correctly Gold Aceite, that's A-C-E-I-T-E. -E. I might say the other one's forest green. Not that you can really see the forest green in my knit, I don't think. Maybe maybe a little, but I, I can see more of the, the blueness of the mohair. But anyway, I, I love the, the um, colours that it's made for the jumper, so, and the stitch of it is really nice. I did make a mistake and had to go back a little bit but it didn't take too long to sort out. So I'm really enjoying that and I've been very good and not going off on my own little adventure. I'm sticking to the pattern and yeah, I'm loving it. I also, um, I've been watching some new YouTubers and I noticed one of the YouTubers, she, um, <laughs> it was her latest one she'd just done a few days ago and she said, oh, I want to knit a ranunculus. So that ranunculus train does visit Lots of people, like I say, pulled, pulled into the south coast here in England and I hopped on. So I, I, it, I could be like many people where we 
you give several. The reason I wanted to knit it is um, I watched the Grocery Girls and Jodie had a couple of their episodes ago, had the most beautiful pink one on and it just looks so lovely. So that's how come I thought I am. I did already have it in my library, but I thought having seen Jodie and hers, that's why I'm going to knit it because she looked fabulous, look, looked so lovely. Okay, my other thing I've got on the needles is my dip your toe, which is the one for my dad. I'm knitting the next one. Can it be classed as on my needles when actually all I'm showing you is two balls of yarn? My needle's in it. Now it's on my needle. Put the needles underneath. I'm going to class these as they're on the needles. I'm going to get going on these hopefully sometime later today or later this evening now because, um, like I say, this is my second recording, which the other one was this morning, and now we're over here. It's 20 to 5 in the uh, afternoon. So I will get going on those, and I'm really looking forward to seeing um, my lovely viewers who opted to do a little test knit for me. I'm really looking forward to seeing theirs too, so I'll be looking out for them. What's in the frame? So I've got a different frame, it's a smaller frame, and it's not got a knitted item in it this time. It's in celebration of Pride Month. Um, I think I've told you in one of the, it might have been the last video that I've got, I'm gonna call it my little room downstairs, that I decorate, I do themes as and when they come out. Most of the time, it's Wizard of Oz. Um, I love Wizard of Oz. I've got lots of Wizard of Oz stuff in my kitchen and some in my lounge. Um, but as different things come around, like Easter or Christmas or Halloween, or you, I will change it up and put different prints in the frames and have a different soap dispenser. So I've got several soap dispensers I've collected now, uh, different towels to match, and um, yeah, it's just good. And other little little bits that I put in there. So um, again. But in the frame today, I bought one of the frames out and to display in celebration of Pride Month. Plans. My plans are, as mentioned, my Ravelry store is, I'm just trying to go through all of that. And one of the first things I did do, this, this was actually, these socks were actually deactivated for a while because I noticed an incorrect, um, section of the heel. I mean, it still worked. What 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 was um, on the original one, but it just wasn't as neat and as even the way it would have been distributed around the heel. So I redid it. But as I went to redo it, for some reason the file that I can do my amendments on the um, in Word had completely disappeared. <laughs> so I did copy and paste into another new document, but it just condensed everything. So I almost felt like I was rewriting it. So hopefully anybody that's already downloaded this, if any of you are watching, you've got an update. Um, and I'd say these are now on there again and reactivated. If you'd like to download, this is a free pattern. Now, my next thing, which relates to those was, um, my plans will be to start looking at a new design for their theme for 2023 for ABBA and the Brilliant Alliance. So keep an eye out for that and I'll keep you informed. I've mentioned changing format. So before I would say what's been going on at the beginning, I said do my introduction to say hello and who I am and obviously thank all my viewers and um, viewers from before, new viewers, and then I would go into this bit more about what I've been up to. Not that I do a lot, I live quite a simple life, um, but I put that to the back of the video as well. So when I get to the end, I, I let people know that I've finished with the knitting section, because I just talk a little bit about what's on the TV, what I've been planting, my gardening, and now it's also going to be what I've been up to. So if you want to hang on for that later on, you can, but if not, I will let you know when the knitting part finishes. So also on my plans is my 
Russian blue cat that I'm going to be doing from my Edward Menagerie. So I'll get that on a hook and might not have it to show you next time, but I will start it. And I, I said before, I won't show you all the little individual bits. I'll actually wait until I've completed one. And my other thing is I want to start thinking about encouraging knitters to come and join the, in my Ravelry group. I've got a show us your stripes. That can be stripes of any sort. So I will put these ones on. I put your dip your toe in ones because I think those waves look like stripes. Mine tends to be a lot of knitted stuff, but I'm really looking for just for, to build a little community and get people chatting um, in a group that's really just about showing something that has a stripe in, to be honest with you, if you wanted to show something else, that's absolutely fine as well. But um, it can be a drawing, so if you're artistic, a drawing, and some sewing, some crochet, knitting, cross stitch, whatever, whatever you want to show, whatever craft. And just once you put it in there, just let us know a little bit about what you're showing and hopefully it'll get conversations started and give people ideas themselves that they might want to do something similar. And it's just another way for us to be able to show our work. We put so much hard work into these, you know, lots of love, hard work, and it's just nice to show it, I think. So I've added a few and it's only me on there at the moment. So my idea is to, my plan, so part of my plans is to try and build that community. So I'm gonna try and mention it every time I do a video, mention my Show Us Your Stripes um, group. And that again will be listed in the, uh, my Ravelry part will be listed in the um, description. I think that's it for my plans. Purchases. I haven't got a. I'm going to print something off next time. But I purchased the Muscle Bra hat. Again, I was watching a YouTuber and she discussed it this week, and I stopped the video because I've seen it a few times and really thought that's definitely something I'd like to knit. So I paused, scuttled off, ordered it from Ravelry, downloaded it, got it downloaded, and went back to my video, continued watching that. So I've got that now in my library, and it's basically a tube. If you've not seen it, it's knit, so you, um, you start by increasing, then you do a long tube and then you decrease, and it's all one piece. And then what you do is you put one end in the other, so it makes a double hat, and then if you fold the brim up as well, you get a lovely thick brim, or you can wear it as a slouchy hat. But hopefully I'll either have a picture next time, and I, we won't, I won't have a hat next time, but I'll have a picture, I hope, and what I'll, I'll also link the muscle bra hat in the description and then eventually you'll hopefully see me with some hats that I've knitted. Fingers crossed. Also, um, I thought let you know the other purchase I had was this opal yarn um, for my dad's socks. Uh, that was a purchase that I had and I've got some birthday yarn. So I had a birthday since the last time we spoke. But I'm not going to show you <laughs> my usual bit of cryptic. I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to leave it until I've thought of, of what I want to knit with it. And hopefully I can show you or tell you about what I want to knit. It may be my own little adventure and I'll just knit. I'm hoping to create a fabric very similar to my Crescent Shawl, which I haven't got with me today because I've not been working on it. Um, so I'm hoping that it will have a similar fabric to that. And I'm thinking a cardigan, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> I'll keep you informed. Watch this space. I also got a section I was doing, a, and I'm still going to, um, a shiny light. So this is a kind of shiny light, but I've not purchased the pattern um, as yet, but I will do because I do want to contribute, um, but maybe not as regularly as I was because I, if I'm buying them, you have that, you feel that you need to knit them. And I'm as much as I can show them to you, I'm, I'm not getting through them at the moment. So... What I've done is I've favourited, I'm starting to favourite some, and I thought I'd show you those. So, again, this is a lady I watched on YouTube this week, and she's Craya Bear, I think. Let me just double check here. Because um, I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly. Craya Bear, it's, it's spelled C R E A. B-E-A, 
notes. So I'm, well, I, I can, I will link that. So just in case I'm saying it incorrectly, but I'll actually put a link so that you can find this pattern and also then you'll be able to find um, Crea Bear on YouTube if you want to go and watch that. I think this one was in her episode 36 on her, her video. But isn't it lovely? It's, so it's a basic, she wanted to do it as a basic blank canvas um, t-shirt. And if you'd like to so if you go and visit her Ravelry store, she has it in so many, she's got some with flowers on, she's got thicker stripes, she's got some with lace work on. Um, really, really beautiful. So definitely worth a visit. And I will definitely be knitting this at some point. Probably my next, after my ranunculus, if I behave and I knit the whole thing, then I will move to knitting this t-shirt because I really like it. I think it will be great. So I'll just pop that there. I think, so that is called as well, just that's the Tulsa T, which I get our list, but it's spelled T-O-L-S-T-A, T, this is T-W-E, um, but I will list that. As I said, it's been a bit quicker today. I feel like I've, I've, I've just, I've galloped through a little bit more because I did already record one this morning. Um, and I think the pace for the, the next one perhaps will be better. Because I'm also late doing a video this go because as, as I've said, I'm not going to try and do one every two weeks. It, it'll be within that three weeks, but I've got quite a lot going on this weekend. So I need to get this one posted. Um, so hopefully I've not, when I you know, watch it back, I've not done anything. I think, oh, I've, you know, maybe I'll cut that bit out and then not be able to do that because I haven't got the storage to then export it. Hopefully it just get uploaded to YouTube. We shall see. So if you were here just for the knitting, um, that side was finished. I've shown you pretty much what I've got on the needles, what I'm looking to knit, what I've finished. Um, so if you're leaving now, cheerio. But if not, I'm moving on to what's been going on. So I'm just going to, I have to write things down. I, I normally say as well, I don't think I said earlier on, again, probably because I'm a bit more rushed today. Um, that I do have my notes, so you hear me page turning and rustling. So what's been going on? So we've had two weekends, I think, since I last recorded. And my daughters came down for one of the weekends. It was the FA Cup between Manchester United and... So that's the um, Fair Football Association. And uh, I believe that's what it stands for. Don't correct me. I'm not big on football. And my daughter bought her best friend and he supports Man City. So it was good fun. And we also invited my dad around because he's an avid Manchester United supporter. My daughter hosted, so she did the food and sorted the drinks. So we had a lovely time. We watched the football all together. And then we managed to sit in the garden because it's been absolutely beautiful here. And we've had a, had a bit of a heat wave actually. Um, beautiful, but very hot. <laughs> I could do with a swimming pool. Just to go and dip in and out of would be very nice. So again, I had my birthday weekend, which was really lovely. I got very spoiled and I got my beautiful yarn. Um, we did several things. Um, the one thing I wanted to do was what I was meant to do for my 50th, but it really, really rained. That's four years ago. Um, and we've obviously had a bit of a gap in between where things changed for us that we didn't we didn't do some of the things. So this year I was like, I want to go and have fish and chips on the beach, um, which is what I want to do for my 50th. So that's what we did. And it was beautiful weather. Um, in fact, I thought it was going to be too warm for sitting down there. But once we got down there with a nice little bit of breeze, we didn't go down to the later afternoon, early evening, and it was lovely. Busier than I thought, but very lovely. Played a few games, had a paddle, just in the shallow water, just didn't, didn't go too deep. <laughs> Dip your toe in. <laughs> so just my dad's socks, the shallow ones, rather than my ones with the deep, the deep um, paddle. <laughs> it's more of a swim, I think, on my socks. And then we went for a lovely walk as well. That was before the fish and chips, early in the morning. We went to a, um, a place for a coffee, a, a garden centre, a uh, nursery, but it's also got animals there. And we had our dog with us, but we said what would be nice is to go around to the animals. So we actually did that the next morning. 
from any animals and then I also went out for a lovely lunch. So I had a lovely, lovely birthday. All the celebrations were really good. Now, let me know as well what you think of the new format, whether you like it, the fact that all the knitting is done early on. So anybody that's tuning in for the knitting, because it is a knitting video, um, and if it's better that I leave everything till the end. Now, next thing is what's on the box. And it's what's not on the box, because we've just finished Desperate Housewives, which we really enjoyed. Lots of episodes, great characters. A lot of the original characters are in there right till the end. Um, but that was our bedtime watching, and we finished that. So um, we're now on to, we were watching bits of it anyway, but Grey's Anatomy and Station 19. And if you've ever watched those, they, they're running in line with each other, really, at the moment. So we kind of watch one of the, one and one and one. Um, and one's about a fire station and one is in a hospital. Um, both really good. Again, you get to know the characters. They do change a little bit more, I think. Um, but yeah, you get to know some great characters. Some, again, have been in there from the beginning. So if you like those sort of dramas, they're good to watch. So a hospital one and a fire station one. The Reluctant Traveller, that's another thing we're watching, which is funny and interesting. Um, but it's Eugene Levy, um, so those of you, again, it's not really a word I like to say, but I'm going to spell it out. It's, he stars in Schitt's Creek, which is S-C-H-I-T-T. Um, he's the dad in there, but he's got a really good, I, I really like his sense of humour. So we're watching him, so he's reluctantly going around and staying at places and doing activities. Um, and obviously reporting it all back to us, you know, it's 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 very good. So that's if you like to make light hearted again, so it's easy to watch. Go and check that one out if it's available to you. Ted Lasso, which I've mentioned before that we've been watching. I think we're getting towards the end of it. So I want to, be, I want to go on a bit of a go slow because I don't want it to end. You know, I find that's quite an endearing, his, his, his nature, his, just his character is very lovely. Um, and it's funny. It's based, if you like football, it's based on football. Um, my husband's really pleased because it's actually been um, filmed at his club that he supports. Um, so yeah, he loves it. And so we don't want to come. To, we just don't want it to come to an end. But um, I know it's. I know it's looming. I'm not sure they're doing any more. And the other thing I've got is I like the reality. I think I've said to you before, like Married at First Sight, where there's the chance of. Um, a happy ending, somebody to fall in love. Um, love Island started, so I did start to watch that. Um, and when a new one starts, I do tend to look at the previous one and just see who's still together. And actually, from the last one, there are a couple still together. So something works within there. Um, so if you like that sort of reality, I always like um, the villas and just the setting of it all. And the pool, it just reminds me of when I go away on holiday. Um, I like a villa holiday when we go abroad. and. I can just imagine myself just sitting by the pool quite happily. Um, but again, these uh, contestants, because they, they are in there as a, a contestant really, because they win money at the end of it. Um, most of them seem okay. They, they just, you know, I think there could be potential for couples this go as well, but I think it's one of those wait and see. We'll keep watching. My planting, um, we bought lots of plants uh, when we went to the um, nursery, the garden, the garden centre. I just bought, my husband said, so I went a couple of days before as well, and my husband said, oh, you've got some plants. I picked up two. When we went all together with my daughter and um, my husband, they had a trolley. I just had the two. <laughs> and then they had this trolley full. So we've got rather a lot of plants to put in, and we need to be doing that. My husband's off tomorrow, so the plan is, is to go out in the garden, probably get very, very hot if it's going to be like you know, the same again today, um, and get some of these things planted, get the bean frame up, because my beans are now really, they've gone mad. I don't know if I said that, my, my tomato plants are in, there's flowers on those, I've got a couple of beds to sort out, because I need to put my courgette plants in, so it's all go. So tomorrow's going to be a very busy day. Another reason why I've come back to video now, 
um, rather than leaving it another day is because I, I haven't got another day now till next week. So I thought I do really want to get a video out if possible. But I think that is everything. So I'll let you know how everything went, planting-wise and knitting-wise. Um, next time we speak, I hope you all have a good couple of weeks. Lots of crafting and I hope you've got lots of sunshine. And I will see you then. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.